Hey everybody, in this video we're going to finish up our first domain controller replacement and make sure everything's looking good. So we checked Sysvol, we ran a DC Diag, we showed replication. Let's just uh, go back and do some replication. Show replication. This is looking good. Uh, the timing is off. So timing something you have to be aware of. That should be fixed. Yeah, I don't know why that's so far off. All right, so everything looks good as far as connectivity. Let's do a rep admin, REPL summary. Let's see if we're getting, we're not seeing any errors. We're seeing everything looking good. Um, configuration looks good. Remember this IP now is 10.180.10.101 IPv6 enabled. If we go on here, let's log into here. Okay, we logged in. Um, let's do CMD. We can see what DC we logged in with. I believe that's in here. There's our log on server DCO2. So it actually used DCO2 to log on. which is good that that worked. Um, let's go to events. Let's look at security first. See if we see anything any failures, lots of failures, something that looks concerning. Okay. And there we see that log on. We should, right? Yep, there I am logging in. So everything's looking excellent there. I was able to get a domain controller and was able to log in. I don't see any major errors there. Okay, so offline down level migration. Okay, we get some errors here. Let's see what this error is. License activation, yeah, that's fine. Let's go to system, Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got an error here. Okay, I don't think that's anything to be concerned with. Okay, I believe that's when we were running, we were upgrading, DNS client. Let's just make sure that we can still ping.
Yep. Yep, that looks good. Strong, strong, strong. Um, okay, let's do a, let's run a DC Diag over here. Looks good. And I think this one is going to also look good. Let's just make sure. Okay, this is going to give us a warning event. Okay, it's just giving me some errors to take a look at. Okay, um, let's do this. So DHCP is not working on here anymore on this uh, other domain controller. So let's go to 2019. Let's import that. Um, okay, so I need Windows PowerShell. So I think the first thing we're going to want to do here is let's go to tools, DHCP, which we installed earlier. And let's just take a look at this. This looks fine. So right, we have no server options. It's okay though. It's So what we're going to do is it's already been enabled. Let's go back here. Let's get the name of this. we did rename this one and this is now on a different IP old DCO2 so let's connect to that And what we're going to do is we're going to grab this DHCP. Let's copy that. What we'll do is on this PC, we'll create a DHCP folder. So new folder. DHCP. Okay, let's go in there. And paste. Okay, so there's our old... DHCP server because what we want to do is now import that here. Okay, so let's just go through this and we'll try to import this. This DHCP, let's do this. Okay, so it's going to be import DHCP. Oops, let's spell it right. Come on. Ugh. Okay, computer name is going to be DC zero two dot test domain dot com. And what we want to do is, oh, dash file, which is going to be C, DHCP, 
And what was the name of that file? Old DHCP conf. So that's going to be old DHCP conf dot XML. And we can back up to see. DHCP that should be fine all right let's see if this works Okay, I think it's, is it running? Okay, it's running as administrator, that's good. I don't really, it doesn't look like it's running, though, honestly. So it has no scopes right now, right? Just try to stop that. Okay, hold on. Okay, let me pause this to see if this finishes. Okay, I just noticed that I typed dot com in there, which I did not mean to do. I don't know if that's causing it. Let's try to fix that. There we go. Okay, that was the problem. Uh, file will be imported. Yes. Okay, let's take a look. Let's refresh this guy. And let's take a look. Look at our scope. Address pool. Address leases. So no leases on this one. Though the leases should, well... We didn't say leases. I think we should add that. But I don't think we had any leases on that server, but we should copy the leases over. So you would want to add on to that command. Leases. You want to make sure you do that. Just to get everything over. So, yeah, you would definitely need to do that. Because you want it to come back in like that. Now, that's okay if you made the mistake and forgot to bring the leases in. You could do that again later. 
Okay, address leases. Looks good. Scope options. 10.1, 101, 100, 101. Looking good. Okay, so we got the DHCP server in there. All right, so now let's close this. So right now we have this server, DCO1 and DCO2, both working. And what we want to do now is spin up another 2019 server and replace DC01. Alright, we'll do that in the next videos. Thanks.